Colored Moms, where we are shifting our perspectives and letting letting shit shit go. go. I'm Bridget. I'm Kat. And today we are going to be discussing body parts. (laughs) And we're just going to go from there. Yeah. Because I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah. We're just going to talk about body parts and um, various ways we've dealt with them and our own and everything in between and funny stories. Funny, most likely funny Most likely funny. But we're just trying to get rid of the um stigmas and taboos associated with body different parts. body parts mm-hmm. and people having different types of body parts yeah it's okay it's all different baby <laughs> just like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like you know potatoes you like a mashed you like french fries mm. you like sweet potatoes yeah you like scalloped potatoes mm. all different oh, I have all not good had a scalloped potato so in a while good. oh so good i know i love those I feel like that's usually a holiday thing. Mm-hmm. Hmm, hopefully I'll have though. some for the holidays coming up. I know. Now I want scalloped potatoes for lunch. <laughs> Me too. So underrated. Oh, man. With some green beans? Yes. So good. But like fresh green beans, fresh not green casserole. Beans. Nope. They have to be fresh. A little snappy. Yeah. But that's why, like, talking about it, everyone's body parts are different. And everybody has preferences. Yes, exactly. So I like some... scalloped potatoes. We yeah. like scalloped potatoes. Some people might like a baked potato. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of baked potatoes. See, I love potatoes in all forms <laughs> yeah i mean I, I wouldn't necessarily turn it down but i, I wouldn't order a baked potato like my mom always orders a baked potato uh-huh. out like as a side she's like oh a baked potato i'm like you're like just give me some uh mashed potatoes or uh, fries definitely fries yeah I, num- I love me a mashed potato though oh yeah same nice and creamy yes with cream if you add, put cream cheese in it dude chives yep sometimes i do uh, sour cream oh too, yeah with chives Okay, getting a little off topic here, but not really, because, uh, yeah, we want to talk about different things, and um, we're just going to start off with (laughs) (laughs) With sorry, phantom dick. Phantom dick. What is that? So, phantom dick, according to Urban Dictionary, which we know is the truth for all things, is is when, and mom, if you are listening, this is probably the time that you would want to turn off the episode or just turn down the episode episode at all maddie and then just like let it play in the background for like the listens and the views for us but just this is your warning um so phantom dick is when you have really really good sex and then you can still feel the dick like the next day after like you wake up and you're just like oh my god is there something in there there's not (laughs) it is i thought i was crazy it is a, an actual like thing that people mm-hmm. have recorded, not recorded, <laughs> but like noted, <laughs> noted that mm-hmm. it happens. Because they might like go to their doctor and be like, I feel like there's something in there. And they're like, no, ma'am, it's just phantom dick. It's, it's crazy. I think it has something to do with like the muscles. Probably. Um, inside of your vagina and like, the yeah. So you got taken to pound town. Yeah. For days after. <laughs> yeah. It's usually like one day, maybe maybe the first half of the day after. And you're like, wow. I'm just like, wow, this is, you're already feeling good. And then you're like, wow, I'm still feeling good. Okay. Well, I don't know if so I've that's a, ever that's felt that. So that's dick. But I don't know if I would have like associated, now I'm like, yeah. hmm, I wouldn't have associated that. I would have just been like, something's wrong with me down there. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel like. Bad. Right. It it's doesn't just... feel bad at all. Um. It's just different. And you're just like, what? Okay. And so like I nicknamed it that. And then I looked it up and it is like a real thing. Okay. So I was like, am I so special that I'm the only one who's <laughs> experienced this? And the internet was like, no, bitch. I don't know if it's normal, but it's definitely not a no. unique scenario to me. No. no. Well, that's a great scenario to have. It yeah could be way worse. I have no... I mean, you're literally just in your car driving to work and you're like, ooh, <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. No, not at all. All right. So if anyone has um, dealt with that, let us know. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll talk about... Um, so, ghost pain vaginal ghost pain so this is the weirdest so this thing is ever. very so we have we have phantom dick we have ghost pain uh-huh. in your vagina yes it's very um otherworldly it like is. all these names it is right? yes it is phantom ghost so interesting yeah. but carry on carry on so after um 
the birth of my daughter. It was probably, I don't even know, a few months after. And I just, I mean, I'll put it out there. Like she had big old shoulders. She ripped me a little bit down there. She did. Mm. I got sewed up a little bit, like a small tear, whatever. Both of my kids, I think, did. Anyways, so it wasn't that. It wasn't like where the incision That's was. Also, people don't talk about that. Yeah, that happens. Listen, like it happens often. It happens often. It does, and it's like her head came out fine, and then her shoulders were like whoosh, done. Yeah. So my poor little, it's in bits. Anyways, but I noticed like a few months after that I just had like this weird lingering pain, but it wasn't anywhere like. I mean, I literally used a mirror and looked at myself down there. Yeah. And I was like, it, you could touch everywhere and, and nothing hurt. It was like this weird pain that wasn't associated with actually touching anything. It was like inside of me, but not mm. inside. It was like throbbing, but there was no reason for it. It was so bizarre. How uh, long did this last? So I went to my doctor mm. and I said, I'm having this weird pain. They checked like where they're like, you're healing up fine. Whatever. It had been months. Your stitches. My stitches. Oh. And she had like, she had her finger down there and she was like poking in all these areas. Mm. And I'm like, I think that hurts. Like I couldn't pinpoint what was hurting. Mm. So there's such a thing and I didn't look it up, but it's like phantom pain in your vagina where mm. your brain is sending signals to your vagina that something is uncomfortable. Interesting. So then she's like, we're going to give you steroids, like a topical steroids, just rub it down there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do it because I'm like, I'm not putting steroids on my vagina. <laughs> if this is in my head, I'm going to defeat it with my brain. Oh my God. I didn't want to. And did you defeat no... it? Every now and then it still pops oh, back up. Oh Jesus. Should but she said it's like in your brain. It's like sending signals. And she's like, sometimes the trauma of the birth. Right. Because of that, it, your brain is signaling, like, hey, that hurts. But okay. it, like, doesn't. It's the weirdest thing ever. And every now and then, like, so it would be fine. And then every now and then, it's just, like, I have, like, shooting phantom pains. Weird. Mm hmm I had a C-section, so I didn't luckily have any of that. Yeah. But it was weird that it actually had a name. I didn't look it up for this, but there is a tech medical term. Yeah. For this where females are going and saying I'm in pain and it wasn't like I mean they like inserted into me just to see like how yeah. I was and there was nothing painful about it it was like hmm. you know when you have a toothache but you feel it like kind of in your gum yeah and you can't really pinpoint it mm -hmm. it was like weird it's weird it happens and then it just goes away and it's like in my brain but I'm it's like, like something that people deal with People deal nobody with talks because about. it has a medical term. Yeah. And I wasn't just going to rub steroids all down there and being like, hopefully you go away. Because it was kind of like, <laughs> it was weird. Like, bas this basically said, she was like, well, you can do it and it should help, but it, it's but in your no, brain. It's in your brain. You know what I mean? So I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not just going to rub steroids everywhere. What? Like, what is that going to do to my downstairs? What if it made it worse? No, nope, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a hippie. I, I you know. So, like, every now and then I feel it and I'm like, mm, okay, we're just having one of those days. <laughs> yeah, but then you just know it's not, like, a thing. A thing. It's just I'm mental. Like, it, the weirdest part about it is you can't pinpoint where it is. That's like, so I strange. wish I could just be like, this side of my labia hurts. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> labia, let's talk about that. Okay. Guys. Mostly guys. Gu which we we know that we have a very, very <laughs> male-dominant listener. Listen, I'm going to just quickly go over a vagina mm -hmm. all that is there okay mm -hmm. so at first you have a clitoral hood which covers the clit we're working from top to top bottom. to bottom the clitoris that's the happy part okay i mean it's all happy but yes i mean most of you don't know where that is <laughs> okay <laughs> rubbing the outer labia. then we have the labia majora which is the outer labia okay then we have the labia minora which is the inner smaller lips if you will and then some of you don't know this but your urethra opening is like below the clit okay that's where you pee i know i literally watched something before where a guy was like don't you just pee out of your hole and i was like oh this is this is interesting you need to know the female anatomy yeah and then you have your vaginal opening and um a little further down, you have the good old anus. Mm. Okay. So that's everything. And coming back to the labias, guess what? 
all different shapes and sizes. Mm. I'm so sick of people saying roast beef, meat wallet. <laughs> meat curtains. <laughs> meat <laughs> curtains. That one kills me. But, like, people be like, and, like, in high school or whatever, like, guys do. Didn- <laughs> no, no, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she pointed to me. She was yelling in high school, guys. <laughs> pointed to me. No, I just meant like you wow. could go build on this topic for me. Who did you talk to from high school? <laughs> build on this topic for me. <laughs> but like, I just remember, like, listen, people, guys in high school, you're dealing with like seeing your first like vagina, probably most likely, most likely, and it's like they're all different. Yeah, they are literally all different so for you to be like she must be a whore because she's got roast beef <laughs> i hate that that's annoying like i've seen so many different ones and they're all different N- no one is alike yeah no person's meat curds are the same it's annoying they're big they're little they're different colors different colored shapes sizes mm-hmm. some inner are bigger than, than their the outer, outer. Mm-hmm. and they stick out and that's fine because they're all different yeah just like penises um, yep. Some are crooked. Some are straight. Some are small. Some are big. Some are thick. Some are thin. <laughs> yeah. Balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> some balls are big. Some are small. Some you have two. Some you have none. Some you have one. Some are very tight in the sack. Some are very hangly dangly. Yeah. But it's 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 stuff like this that I feel like needs to be discussed more. Yeah. All bodies are different. You know, and I hope my kids grow up knowing that everybody's different, not even just like their genitalia, but also just like shapes. Yeah. You know what I mean? How they look. Like some people are a little thicker, thinner, Mm -hmm. petite. You know what I mean? Like I have a fupa. You do not. (laughs) You bitch. I have a poopa. What's that? Big old donkey. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, it's all it's all different and it's all fine because it's all unique to you. And I think the people who have problems or can't get down with maybe a certain penis or vagina is because they're uncomfortable with themselves. 100%. I'm like. 100%. They're all different. Like, what's the point of having them if they're going to be the same? Yeah. What, then where's just the fun in that? Go online if mm-hmm. that's what you want. Mm-hmm. But I also think that i don't even know social media and all that and like some probably porn they they cast people with like the perfect little tiny everything Mm. so that's what you think is normal like if you're like a a teenage boy or girl Mm. interested in bodies and Mm -hmm. looking them up online i mean there might be a niche market for some big old curtains on there but most of the time if it's like something you're looking it's like the perfect little barbie looking yeah like female, which that, is not normal. I feel like that's for like ones that are cat, like it gets casted. Mm-hmm. But if you look at like amateur stuff, yeah, it's, it's all different, all which is bodies. like much more indicative of the general population. Mm-hmm. Which I love. Yeah, I think it's great. We love amateur porn. But I just think it's so important to talk about these things. For sure. People are uncomfortable about it. I mean, we were a little bit uncomfortable on how to, I was like, how am I going to introduce this topic? You're like, we're going to talk about bodies. Okay, let's bodies. go. <laughs> But it is weird because, like, we're not on here, like, to discuss bodies and the purpose of sex. We're here to just discuss bodies as bodies. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all different, all unique, all your own. For sure. Like, my body's not perfect, but I love it because it's mine. That's so nice. And I birthed the baby with this thing twice. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Guess what? There's things that, you know, I don't love about it, but as a whole, I love my body. Same. Same. I think it took me a long time to get to that point, though. Yeah. Because of society or people saying like, oh, are you going to wear that? Hate it. Or, oh, like, why don't you like put that down? Mm -hmm. Put what down? This donut? It's delicious. (laughs) It's delicious. Put it down? What do you mean? I know. But then there's other people out in the world that are like, if you don't have stretch marks and cellulite, it's like, I don't want it. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, hmm. Yep. And I'm I'm working. I mean, I don't want to say like I super, like I still hate being in a bathing suit. I don't know. That's my one last hold up. Which is crazy to me. My one last hold up. Like, I just feel so uncomfortable and seen. And it makes me, like, I I would literally rather be anywhere but that. But I'm working on it. And I know it. And I acknowledge it. And we've had conversations. Yeah. Um, And I think I take a little 
of that from you when you're just like fucking be yourself and you're just frolicking around looking like a fucking <laughs> mermaid gem and i'm like i need to do that for all if if i frolicked <laughs> yeah it'd be a small earthquake shut the fuck up just kidding um um oh let's go back to so the ghost pain mm -hmm. phantom dick all of these things um have you ever bled during sex and then said am i dying uh, not am I dying, but like what the fuck? Yeah, but the other thing is too is I have mm -hmm. I have an IUD, mm -hmm. which another thing. <laughs> a couple people in the male species that I said, oh, I have an IUD. They're like, oh, when did you get that? And I'm like, a couple years ago. They're like, oh, did you have to do like community service? Not a DUI. Oh. My an iud sir i'm dying the it's just i'm just like i can't ever take you seriously and, and please leave yes no i hope you didn't <laughs> please, do anything with them they did not leave. deserve your did you IUD? have to do community service that's insane no who are you talking to uh we <laughs> we've moved past that we, yeah okay yeah um, but anyway that's ridiculous so, so bleeding during sex and like oh maybe it's like that or there's like a string that's attached to it so mm -hmm. they can get it out but yeah, I think it's happened. I think it just... It's natural. Yeah, but it's more like... It's not like gushing. You're not gushing. No, but it's just <laughs> it's like, like... afterwards, like when you go to pee, which you should always pee after sex, because mm -hmm. if not, you might get a UTI. Mm -hmm. And as somebody who gets UTIs frequently, they are not fun. See, she's a UTI gal, and I'm a yeast factory, a bacon bread. <clears throat> you never had a yeast infection, though. No. And I've never had a UTI. So it's just like our parts are just different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just unique to us but it's the same thing you wear a bathing suit wet bathing suit too long yeah i'm getting yeast infection you're getting UTI. uti so those are also natural and happen and it's not based on sexual partners no or anything sexual when people used are like to happen to me you got a yeast infection and i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used to yeah. happen to me a lot like playing sports growing yeah. up especially in college you'd go from three hour practice sweating your ass off mm -hmm. to then going right to class mm -hmm to maybe another class yep. study hall and then you're finally getting home and showering it's like you've been in this nasty yep. sweaty thing mm -hmm. for six to eight hours like of course that's gonna happen and could i have changed my pants looking back now yeah 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 but it's but like during the time think you're not about thinking that. about it and you're young and you weren't that wasn't your priority yeah and like yeah same so thing I would just go to my trainer and she'd be like again and i'm yeah. like yep <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Again. Yep. Jen again. <laughs> Just call her She's like, Jen here again. you go. That's so funny. Yeah, but I, same thing about yeast infections for me. It was yeah. just like moisture. Mm -hmm. Too much moisture. It is Sports, what it is. like whatever you're doing. And I'd be like, something feels off down there. And I remember I had my so first uncomfortable. yeast infection. And you have to like shove this stuff up your vagina at night when you're what? laying down. It's medicine. It goes into your vagina. And it's a ring. Looks like a tampon. Oh. And you push it up, the medicine goes out, and then you take it out. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> this is me, like, thinking I'm just going to shove it up there and go to bed. I – so the medicine, like, attacks the yeast inside you. Oh, my God. I didn't know this that. Is like a, this is like the Trojan horse. Dude, I literally was on fire. It was like <clears> – <throat> like, I wanted to take a back scratcher and shove it up there and scratch. It was <gasps> so intense. I remember, like, writhing on the bed, being like, I just need to internally itch myself. <laughs> and it was, like, either my mom or my aunt who was like, that's what happens. Like, and I was like, I cannot do this. I literally – So it just burns in there. It feels like the devil's in there. Being like <sighs> – <laughs> It's bad. Mm -hmm. And you, it hurts when you pee, right? And stuff. It's just, it makes you feel like you have to pee all the time. Yeah, see. So like cranberry juice pills. Cause like, I don't mm -hmm. love sugary drinks. Anyway. They make my tummy hurt. Mm. So I took the pills <laughs> instead. That helps lots of water. Mm -hmm. But like, you just feel like you have to pee all the time. It's like pressure. It's so annoying. Yeah. Cause then you, then you sit down and you go and it's like. <laughs> like one little trickle. <laughs> like so, one yeah. drop. And then you're like, so rude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my daughter just had one. Oh, my mm -hmm. daughter has had – wait, a yeast infection or UTI? UTI. My daughter has had those too. And which... I didn't know what was happening. And I was like – and she like peed her pants, which she's like super potty trained. I'm oh like, my what God, the hell? yeah. And then her pee stunk and it was cloudy. Put it all together. Mm. Took her to the doctor. And they're like, it's common in little girls. Like they're learning to wipe themselves and yeah. all that. And I'm like, 
Uh, little ooh, talk about the baking soda bath. Oh, we got a-, a sits bath. I love a uh-huh. sits bath. So that is one thing that I'll do because we go to the pool a lot in mm-hmm. the summertime. And again, you're in your bathing suit all day or the beach all day, and there's water and potentially bacteria, mm-hmm. sand, depending upon where you're at. So Tight bathing suit, all of that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you go in the bathtub and you sprinkle it with like baking soda mm-hmm. and it like basically helps balance your pH levels. And just enough water there. to cover your crotch. Because you don't want to douche because that is getting That's rid of so all the you. bad ba- or all the good, good bacteria. bacteria. People think douching. I'm- That's another thing. <laughs> what? Okay, so sits bath. Sorry, didn't mean to get off of that, but do that. Sits, sits bath, yeah. So baking soda. I think so it's you like sits in the bath. <laughs> so sits bath. You just put like a, I think it's like a tablespoon or two in the tub, warm it water. It doesn't really matter around, how much. I go just... like this sometimes. <laughs> oh Jesus! But you just sit. It's it's not toxic. It's sit in there for like natural, five ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Bounces your pH, mm-hmm. and then you should be good to go. So I just do that proactively with my yeah. daughter, yeah, so that we don't get to the point of having an yeah. issue. So we are dealing with like body parts on little people. Yeah. They don't get it. No, they don't get it. Um, but that's another thing about like douching and all of that. Stop what you're doing. Stop with the fancy little towelettes and all these things. It's like your body is supposed to have natural odors first mm-hmm. off. Okay. That's normal. You're not supposed to smell like roses down there. No. No. Don't spray anything on it. Don't use the douching. But guys should wipe their stuff down. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. We have an open hole. Yeah. (laughs) There's such a difference. Okay. Yeah. Because guys are gross. Wipe wipe your stuff down, men. Like, but you you had wipes. Dude wipes. Yeah. And you have an appendage. It's easy. An appendage. It's there. But like, we have like an open hole, you know? We have to treat it as such. Mm. Stop douching. Yeah. You're a douche. The only people that have ever suggested douching to me. Are men, which is like, can you, can you not? Guys, like, it's normal. It's just normal to smell different, taste different. Like, just as everyone looks differently, smells and tastes are different as well. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's your body. Yeah. And depending on what you eat, like, everything. Yeah. Eating, everything is a drinking, factor. Eating, all of that. It's just, those are things, like, I just wish people talked more about. When I was younger... I remember just being like, what is this thing? <laughs> Looking down at my vagina and being like, oh, my God. Like, what is this? Because when you're little, you don't think. And then one day you're like, oh my God. And then you're talking to people in school. who was like, I douched. And you're like, what does that mean? I got an American Girl Doll book my mom gave me. It was all about, like, body parts. Okay. It was actually very informative, informative mm-hmm. and helpful. Um, But, yeah, I, I thought it was good. It explains it in a very, you know, with cartoons and yeah. – arrows and like normal terminology not like you know street terminology or anything like that but it was good to like understand that yeah and like uh, uh, you met my mom everything is very open in my house like i literally got my period the first time and my dad stayed home and he was yelling up the stairs sweetie do you need another pad (laughs) so like my everyone is very open but like for me, I remember taking a mirror when I was young and being like, what is this? Because oh. I just wanted to know. I was like interested. Yeah. And I think a lot of people just never know and then get older and are like, I don't know. Like, dude, you I'm aren't figuring so... out yourself. How do you expect someone else to? Yeah. I'm like so overly aware mm-hmm. of my body, of just like how it normally is. If there's any, you know, deviations mm-hmm. of that, is it an issue? Is it not an issue? Um, and luckily I have some friends that are in the medical field that I can shoot a text to and be like, Hey, what's this? And it's usually an ingrown hair always. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you have the IPL or the, the I know uh, I used it this morning. Okay. The laser. Yeah. The, you like, I'm obsessed with it. Dude, My armpits it. never smoother. See, I haven't done anything other than my bikini area. My legs. I don't have to shave for like a week or two that's amazing i need to start it's doing crazy it. yeah it's it's the best thing ever i just wish i had like extra long arms to do my entire body like my back to my, it. i have a hairy back hey. i feel like i feel like everyone has hair everywhere well yeah but it's not hairy it might be i don't know we'll see what i feel like if you had a hairy back i would have known about it when am i showing you my back honestly you're right never <laughs> 
except for one time on the beach when you decided to take your cover up off because of me because I was an inspiration to you. You're like, fucking let take the record that off. show. Yeah. You're always an inspiration to me. <laughs> Good. I know. Thank you. All right. So bleeding during sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bleeding during sex. It's happened to me before. It's um, normal. It's normal. And I did have some. As long um, as it's not all the time, I what think. What are those things called? We're not doctors. Cyst? A cyst? Yeah. I'm cysty. I've had some like in there, right? When they're like in there? In your vagina? No, not cysts. What are they called when you have things in there? Polyps? Uh, not polyps. But they went away on their own. But they were like near my ovaries. I don't know. But like, what? I don't know. Is it a cyst, right? Yeah, you have cysts. You can have cysts in your vagina. For sure. Yeah. So I think that's what I had one time. Okay. And I got irritated and bled a little. Interesting. Um, But they go away on their own. I don't know. Sometimes. You don't know until they're like in there. And they're yeah. like, you have. And you're like, what? Yeah. What do I have? I have cysts. There? I have like 12 on my head. Yeah. I have two on my side. She's a shishty girl. I have one on my wrist. Yeah. She's sissy. I am. Um, yeah, so it's normal unless you're like bleeding, bleeding. But that's something you should know going into it. And if a male ever like talks shit to you, do never get with them again. Yeah. That's rude. If someone's like, ew. It's a, it's a body. It's a body. Like, ew to your balls. <laughs> I don't think balls are cute. I mean, I guess some could be, but like, no. No. And they're so sent like <sighs> I could go on, but we don't we have limited time here. Yeah, limited time. And um, nobody wants to hear my rant about balls. I mean I do after this. Okay. Okay. Um and let's also talk about boobs. Oh my god. So I have a great story. So my <laughs> friend Mary Lou gives fabulous presents all the time. And for my birthday, she got me a picture of boobs. So it's about I think it's like a four by five picture and they're all different boobs shapes sizes Love colors it. some are decorated with like tassels <clears throat> um some have like bondagey looking like bra on them and but there's no like there's no body attached to it mm -hmm. so it's just boobs so i have it in the bathroom and izzy comes in and she goes oh mommy i love this picture of all these earrings <laughs> because they have some tassel yeah. they're all different colors some are you know some are skinnier some are hanging some are perky some that. are round and i was like yeah these are like super cool earrings and she still to this day thinks they're earrings and i hope i hope she just still calls it earrings when she realizes they're actual boobs i love that yeah and i got one with butts yep butts are all different some are th thick some are thin <laughs> some are oh yeah i okay so i put this shirt on it says i like them real thick and sprucey and it has a picture of christmas trees on it um and then we decided to, we had a whole other plan for an episode mm -hmm. today and then we were like flipping through our like idea book we were like hey let's do this mm -hmm. i was like how relevant i my know shirt. You're, it was meant to be today yeah. and um but yeah i have one with butts and then she loves pointing out which butt she thinks we both have oh see yeah like but see <laughs> It's important to talk about bodies. I agree. And boobs are all different. Like, I think for people to be comfortable with themselves, they just have to realize it's never the same. Like, some boobs yeah. are pancakes. Some are potatoes. Some are very big. Some are very small. Some are just a nipple. Yeah. It is whatever it is. And listen, if you're with someone who doesn't like your boob size, there's plenty of people out there who will. Oh, my so God. Sayonara. Yeah. Sayonara sayonara sucka. i'm just saying like or if you want to get work done go for it like, i was with uh my ex and he was like if you ever get a boob job we're getting divorced if you ever get a big tattoo sleeve we're getting divorced hey jokes on you i divorced you and i'm getting both of those things. <laughs> so it's like it's my body it, my body my choice I'm for all things it. all things so um no mm. i think that's a good point and i just think People need to talk about it like we are. Yeah. I hope people share this with other people and say, hey, listen to this. This is a good body. Body, body positivity. Body positivity. For both men and women. Men and women. Have you ever had a, oh, this might be, uh, you're married, but have you ever had a curved penis? Like a hook? Mm hmm Yes. What are, you, what are your Back thoughts? Back in the day. Back in the day buffet. <laughs> At first, I was, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. what's, what's going to happen? Works the same. It's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't I know why gonna... that came to my mind. <laughs> Captain Hook. 
<laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> I should have. I wasn't. I wasn't that clever. That was back in the day when I would match my uh, my bra and panties. Oh my god, who has time for that now? Uh, n- not me. Do you have different panties for different occasions? Um, no, you don't. Like I have like, like comfortable underwear when I have my period. I don't get my period. Oh yeah, because you have. Did you before An, though? A DUI. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got it before, but I mean, I would, I just would buy underwear that I like. So some of it's it's always cotton, cotton crotch breathability, mm-hmm. but some of it's lace, some of it's Ugh. cotton, like all together. Um, one of my friends, we do like a Pollyanna every year. One of my friends just requested silk underwear. I'm like, for what? The only thing you need is a silk pillowcase. Yeah. That's interesting though. But no, I have different so, yeah. underwear for different occasions. When I do wear underwear, I don't really like to wear underwear. So often. what are, what are your underwear like varietals that you have in your drawer? Well, I do like the cheeky butt ones oh. when I have my period. Oh, you mean and like different types? Tight- different types. Oh. And then like not, I'm either not wearing any or I have like a thong on. Mine's either thong, briefs, or cheeky. Yeah. yeah. But the cheeky, sometimes my butt swallows it and Me then too. I find it being a thong. So uh-huh. I'm like, what's the point? What's the point? I, I know. But it looks like kind of cute. Like a peekaboo butt. Yeah. But yeah. But like I'm having pants on. I know, but from me, it's about oh, from for me. you. I feel yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay. Who's the unbothered baddie of the week? So exciting. The unbothered baddie is one of my best friends, Farah. So she is a OBGYN by choice. Um, when she told <laughs> us choice. that she wanted, she was going to medical school. She had said for a while she wanted to do like surgery. We we're like, okay, that's that's great, like wonderful. And then she goes, guys, I decided I want to be an OBGYN. We were like, mm, but why? Like for what? Because you're, like you're a hero. Yeah. So she. Yeah, she helps out people with their vagines. She catches babies on a regular basis. Um, she's pregnant now, actually. So the joke is like, oh, you're going to catch your own baby. But mm-hmm. she's not. Um, so, yeah, she is the unbothered baddie. We appreciate what you do. We salute you. And all OBGYNs. Yep. Um, you do a, such an incredible job. Such an incredible job. Mm-hmm. Like women's health is kind of complicated. Very much so. And you guys help us and you're amazing. Yeah. So thank you, Farah. Yay. And do you have um hotter knots this week or no? I did. There were I can do hotter knots for um they were like just kind of random, which I'm totally down for. Let's see. Hot or not with cat. No no no. Okay. This is gonna be like quick. Okay, quick. Hot or not leftovers. Hot. Hot or not pre lit trees. Not. Hot or not DIY home decor. Hot. Hot or not pet owners that look like their pets. Not. Hot or not adult onesies. Hot. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. That was a good one. We have some agree, some disagree, but mm-hmm. yeah, it was a good one. Which is random. Do you disagree with the most. Um, I disagree with pre lit trees because I have one, but also half of it burned out this year, so I had to go out and get. Like bulbs anyway. Yeah, there you go. So hot or not with cat meow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a great topic. <laughs> you I that gave I her feedback <laughs> weeks ago and I said, Can you please stop saying that this it was a, a good, good episode <laughs> every fucking time? <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> we enjoy talking about body body parts with you mm. and all the different varieties of them. So keep on keeping on with your body parts. You look great. <laughs> You can catch us on Instagram and on TikTok at the Unbothered Moms for all the behind the scenes content. And you can watch our videos on YouTube. Please subscribe, like, share us with your friends, and we will catch you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye.